you're not coming home for Christmas? Sorry, I can't. All the sleepless nights I spent with you, teething tantrums. Mummy, I'm already 28. I'm supposed to have kids of my own. Why do you keep talking with that accent? Sorry, I can't help it. You've been over there for so long, I don't even recognize your voice anymore. But I like it here. This is my home now. It's your daughter, talk to her. Talk to her. Hello, my dear. Is mommy crying? Oh, no. Not at all. <laughs> Okay, now she is. I think she just can't stand you living so far away from her. But I can't stay with you forever. I need to have a life of my own. And you two need to get yours back. What do you mean? Take her out. Well, she is out. She's out right now with the dog and crying. I mean on a date. Oh, no, no. We were, we're much too old for that. Jane hasn't been out of the apartment in quite a while. So how do you expect her to be happy? I have no idea what to do. Well, if you do nothing, you'll be stuck like this for another 20 years. How nice that you think we're going to live that long. Dad. <sighs> Honey, I need your help. You see, I'm working. Oh, it's a matter of life and death. What are you talking about? Well, I, uh, I have to have this procedure, and it's, uh, and the doctor says I can't drive myself home. What procedure? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's nothing really. It's just they, they want to check something, and and I need you to drive me home from the doctor, and afterwards we can go to lunch or something. But I haven't driven in a long time. Be fine. Well, I can't go like this. Well, you look beautiful. You always look beautiful. All right, give me five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, I'm Wait ready. One second, I've got. Maybe I should put this appointment off, like to next week. Dogs, get out. No, you said this was an important procedure. We could... Okay, whatever. Come on, let's go. I'm, I got all pretty and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, all right. What's wrong? You okay? Just give me a minute. Come on, we're gonna be late for my appointment. Stop pushing me! I'm not pushing. I'm gonna fall. You want me to fall? No. Come on, one step at a time. Good job. What if we have an accident? How romantic. Then we will die together. Sometimes I feel like I want to die. Stop whining and go! We've got a whole mile and you haven't hit anybody yet. You feel good? Yeah. Oh. Did you see that? What? The guy in the belly, he just cut me off. Oh, he was on the phone. Not, oh, that's not good. That's outrageous. No, just, just let it go. Leave him alone. Please, can we just go to the clinic? No, I need to show him. He needs to learn. No, I said we died together today. I didn't mean it really. I was just kidding. Could we please just go to the clinic? Please. Okay. Oh, thank you. Only because you're sick. I am now. I mean, sicker. That's what I meant. I'm really sick now. That was my spot. I was waiting for it. It's okay. There's, there's plenty of parking here. What a jerk! Oh, no, it's yeah, yeah. He's a jerk. That was my spot. Why did you take two spots? Jerk. I'm sorry. I didn't see your name written on this spot. What's this world coming to? Have a nice day. People just don't respect each other anymore. I hope it's not painful. Just a bit. Do you want me to hold your hand while they do it? No! No. Hi, do you have an appointment with us? Yes, we do. The doctor's ready for you now. Please take good care of him. Don't worry. This is a very simple procedure. You always say that. Why are you blinking? 
I don't know. Maybe I've got a, a nervous tick. Please follow me. Oh, hold me. Is it that bad? Are you okay? Oh, could be better. No, let's get you in the car. We are going home. What, what about lunch? Forget about lunch. Well, you promised to have lunch out with me. Well, I'll make you a nice lunch when we get home. Oh. You don't know that even a child can handle that, right? That's not true. I mean, you can't even follow directions on a stupid screen that's telling you what to do step by step. Unbelievable. I know. Let's get out of here. Well, you're driving, so use it yourself. I can't drive and use a GPS at the same time, stupid. That's why I need your help. Maybe I'll take out an ad that says I'm looking for a girlfriend that can use a stupid GPS. Honey, are you okay? Take you for granted. We can go now. So what were you thinking? They could have had a gun for goodness sakes. <clears throat> My wife always thinking of the other person first. That's part of what I really love about you. So what about lunch? I'm sorry, honey, but I'm not feeling well. I think I'm gonna go lay down. And... But there's pizza in the fridge, okay? Are you sleeping? Oh, no, come on in. What do you want? 